then there is a prayer that when you want to pray when you have when you have when you are meditating on the scriptures when i mean meditation you are studying the word just studying the word studying the word studying the word maybe like 20 30 minutes one hour i don't know how your distraction is so this is not a feast rule right because how it works for me is not going to be how it works for you it might take you two hours to get to this place it might take you 20 minutes to get to where i am so it can take you three minutes i don't know so we all have different intervals of assessing it but it's possible this realm is there so how long it took you to get there is what i don't know so when you enter that place every thought that comes to your heart remember you can arrest thoughts you can put them into captivity anyone you don't like you can arrest it so when you are there you ask the lord father grant me all trances let let my mouth be your mouth let my ear be your ear let my heart be your heart let everything i'm about to say be from you and then have you noticed that you, one day you are praying you are praying every foundation you didn't know when you said every foundation in your family that's what happened to you you just made it you made a request but you don't know you, you are not intentional you are only praying in tongues. but you now spoke in your understanding you see the lord is steering you to a prayer point are you with me the lord is steering you to a prayer point so what is he telling you he's telling you that that is the prayer that is where to pray that prayer now so that is something when you and i'm praying for someone i'm saying i'm praying for chedu lord i don't know what is wrong with chedu but i want to pray in the spirit for chedu holy ghost grant me all trances when you do that one of the things the holy ghost does is that because you have asked for his assistance over that particular person he will channel the prayer over that particular person and as long as you keep praying for that person one of the things remember god must not show you private things about people's life is god with them you must come to a certain level for god to trust you to be able to show you certain private thing about their life why should god trust you with my secrets why should god trust me with your secrets i have to grow to a place where he can trust me and know that even if i know your secrets i won't use it to destroy you so forget that thing you do you i saw you in the spirit oh teach you're not boss again okay? room 309 Why will he do it? Instead of a defying the person, you destroy the person. So he won't do it. But if he trusts me enough, he reveals it to me. Then I can call you and say, my brother, can I talk to you? He say, uh, say there's there something I want to talk to you. Can we talk privately? He said, anything you want to tell me, tell me here. He said, I saw yesterday evening around 4 p.m. He said, uh, man of God, let's talk here. You see how the thing works? He said, but let's talk here. He said, no, man of God. There's some things that. And then you explain God loves you. God cares for you. God wants you to be careful and be careful about this and that and that. The person will know that God loves him enough to also keep his personal matters from the public. Except when the person now is a rebel and God can say, speak out and warn this person. That's why sometimes the prophets, the prophetic, if you don't know how to use it, you use it to destroy people's life. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? It's not for a place for self-exaltation and self-glorification. It's not a place to show off. So when you are praying that prayer, allow God to speak to If We would do it. I wish this was night of victory. We would have just done it now. So you, you can do it. Just relax. And when you are constantly a prayer person and a study person, someone that studies and prays, when you are very quiet and someone walks in and you look at the person you see a vision about the person you just know something about the person sometimes if you shake the person say how are you doing because the prophetic also work like that sometimes you see sometimes if you don't see you touch you see is is if you read the book of kere Hagen, the anointing is also there so sometimes if you if you're speaking to someone and you don't get anything you can touch the person you will receive I don't know why it works like that there are many ways god can speak to someone i've been in a place the person was telling me something about himself without knowing he was telling me something about himself right he was speaking he was telling me a story but i was not hearing the story i was hearing a problem about him to me and he was telling me a story but in the story it doesn't relate to what i was hearing about him and yet he was the one telling me so i began to note i began to have a perception of what he's going through 
without him telling me and yet he was telling me a story so from the story he was telling me i perceived about him so i didn't hear the story but i heard so when i was telling him say how do you know that was when i discovered that he didn't know what he was saying he was telling me something and i said hey so what are you telling me but i've already given the prophecy 